professors to do things which I think men expected female colleagues to do. So I've been very, very careful about that sort of thing. As a young police officer, Pauline Clare is obviously definitely a role model. Uh, the fact that somebody at the very top that is uh, respected by uh, you know men and women of all ranks and, and actually genuinely admired, uh, it's of great you know inspiration really to, to think yes, it can be done. Would you like to be county chief constable? I personally cannot, uh, you know, see, I mean, it's ridiculous to say, yes, you know, I'm going to be the next Chief Constable. I think I, I when I came into the police force, uh, I didn't even think I was going to be a sergeant. Now, I'll hopefully keep on going until I think that that's my limit. Right, so that hey, how are we doing with the uh, MISPAs? The only one that we had was from Wilkinson House. I thoroughly enjoy the challenge and when you when you come on a, on duty, I mean I'm turning up an hour before my shift because I'm that sort of focus for it. Uh, you know, I do enjoy when people are coming to you for decisions because uh, if anything it's a compliment when they're actually looking at you for support and advice. And uh, you know, I've always found that a real challenge to help people and I'll uh, bend over backwards for them so it gives me a real kick to be able to do that. Okay, who have you got going to that? I'm just about to get someone to right, do it no now. Problem. Suddenly it's like, I'm, I'm saying things now which, I, you know, my sergeant's been saying to me for the last few years and it's slotting into place, almost like your mum's saying, you know, wait till uh, you become a parent, you'll know. I almost feel like that, wait till you're a sergeant. At every rank, I think I've found it quite easy to know where to draw the line. I've been very, very careful about the way I dressed because you never ever wanted to bring sort of criticism on yourself for appearing to be, you know, too much like a, a dolly bird or flirty or not the person to be taken seriously. To a large extent, that probably says a lot about my personality. But at the same time, I think, I still think it's appropriate behaviour in a predominantly male organisation. It's about not sending out the, the, uh, the wrong messages. Just occasionally you come across a man who still misinterprets your perhaps friendliness uh, and uh, maybe makes some sort of inappropriate comment, maybe about the way you look or you know, the perfume that you're wearing. And I think what you have to do in that situation is to be quite firm and say, I think that comment's inappropriate. Uh, would you make that sort of comment to a male chief constable? <laughs> Are you applying for the deputy's job in the Met? <laughs> no. <laughs> I have never enjoyed being a deputy, ever, whether it's a deputy divisional commander or a deputy chief constable, and I don't intend to be deputy to anyone else. So that's the answer to the question.